हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज गुंजन शर्मा बैक अगेन विद न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ योगा ए डीप कम्युनियन टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट हलासना हलासना इज ए क्लासिक योगा पोज और आसना इन संस्कृत दैट्स इंक्लूडेड इन मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ योगा प्रैक्टिसेस इट इन्वॉल्व लाइंग ऑन योर बैक एंड प्लेसिंग योर फीट ऑन द फ्लोर बिहाइंड योर हेड टिपिकली यू डू हलासना टूअर्ड द एंड ऑफ ए योगा सेशन However it's the third of the 12 basic asanas in the Sivananda sequence here are the benefits of halasana halasana is an inversion which means your heart is positioned above your head this type of position offers several benefits halasana boosts circulation improves blood pressure and lowers blood sugar levels which is helpful for diabetes management halasana stretches your spine and strengthens and tones your back muscles it helps prevent and relieve tightness in your neck shoulder and back the pose also strengthens your shoulders arms and legs practicing halasana enhances flexibility which improves muscle and joint mobility it also makes your spine more supple which may help ease muscle tension and improve posture increasing flexibility can also reduce your chance of injury and improve your everyday and athletic movements halasana also stimulates digestion so it may be useful for constipation flow pose allows you to relax which helps relieve stress and tension both physically and mentally giving yourself time to relax may help you feel more rested and at ease in turn you may find it easier to fall asleep and sleep deeply anecdotally it's often said that turning your body upside down during inversions can spark new ways of thinking offer a fresh perspective or boost your mood you may wish to experiment with this as part of your practice how to perform halasana lie on your back with your arms next to your body and palms pressing into the floor as you inhale lift your legs to 90 degrees as you exhale roll your pelvis off the floor moving your legs back toward your head slowly lower your legs over your head toward the floor position your hands on your lower back for support align your pinky fingers on either side of your spine with fingers pointing up toward the ceiling walk your hands up your spine to elevate your spine draw your shoulder blades and elbows in as close as together as possible if your toes reach the floor you can release your arms alongside your body with palms down or interlace your fingers hold this position for up to 2 minutes to release reposition your hands alongside your body with palms down as you exhale slowly roll your spine back down to the floor pause with your legs extended to 90 degrees as you exhale engage your abdominal and slowly lower your legs to the floor or simply bend your knees and place your feet on the floor alignment tips keep your neck in line with your spine while looking upward try to rest your weight on your upper shoulder not your neck and head don't move your neck from side to side or turn to look in another direction while your feet are overhead If it's not possible to place your hands on your spine, you may place them on the sides of your hip. For greater comfort and ease, bend your knees slightly. Tuck your chin into your chest, putting slight pressure on your chest. Notice if you are yielding your weight onto one side more than the other and adjust accordingly. Activate your shoulder and arm muscles to keep from putting too much pressure on your neck. For spinal alignment, You have the option to press your toes into the floor to lengthen your spine or to purposely round your back. Keep your hands on your back for support if your toes don't reach the floor. Precautions and common mistakes. Halasana and other inversions offer immense benefits. There are not a requirement for any yoga practice. Halasana can provide a deep relaxing stretch, but you must find your sweet spot in terms of comfort. Always listen to your body and practice halasana safely. Avoid holding inversions for too long. Don't do halasana if you have any neck, blood pressure or digestive issues. If you have concern about blood rushing into your head such as sinus, ear or eye issue, avoid this pose. Halasana is not recommended if you are menstruating or pregnant. If you are feeling weak or fatigued, save your halasana for another day. Putting pressure on your head and neck while your heart is higher than your head may cause or worsen headache symptoms. If you get headache often you may wish to avoid inversions altogether or do them for a short time typically your body is less flexible when you first wake up you may especially notice this change in flexibility during halasana if it's early morning and you are used to practicing in the evening remember that you may not be able to go as deep as normally do 
listen to your body and modify if needed so friends this was all about halasana this is gunjan sharma signing off thank you have a great day